So for the Space Apps Challenge, we built a fully functioning Pip-Boy uh, from the game Fallout um, by Bethesda. It has, um, we've got GPS input from the iPhone itself, uh, humidity, pressure, um, both IR object temperature and ambient temperature coming in from a Texas Instruments um, Bluetooth sensor tag. And so we can actually see all the same data from the phone is being posted to a kind of headquarters. Uh, and so we can see that there's about 26 degrees Celsius here in the room and then 45 degrees uh, with the object. And if we actually make that hot, we should see that go up, maybe. Nope. Okay. Well, that does work. Um, <laughs> so it's using an infrared uh, thermometer on the back, and then we've got uh, mapping. So it actually shows where we're currently located at. And then each of these screens can drive the LEDs. Uh, the next feature will be to actually be able to switch the screens using the knob through Pinocchio and being able to then switch the screen uh, when that reads it in. Um, on the web UI here, you then have the ability to look at multiple people who are wearing one of these. So you can actually toggle between the different people. So here's Chris and Colin. And then we have the ability to do a, send in a report. And so if we go ahead and click here, we can say there are flying saucers. And we'll hit go. And then we get a, oh, we got, we can say, is there flying saucers? So query information. So we have this natural language processing yeah, sure. a, API, uh, which will listen to everything you say. So you got to be careful uh, when you hit speak. Uh, but we can do that one more time. There are flying saucers. And go. And so it understands what kind of information came back uh, in the payload. And that is the Pipboy 3000 for the NASA Space Apps Challenge. Geiger County. Um, back on the other side over here, we actually have a Geiger counter that's reading in the data, the radiation data that's displayed on the screen here. Uh, and so that's actually communicating through the Pinocchio up to the web and then being consumed on the iOS device. A lot of moving parts. Wow, is there a description of details online that I can? We're going to put together like a full presentation of all of this, um, probably slides and video, and we so have a week to do that. Yeah, we have that. a week to do the video. Okay.